you stayed at UCLA for college, right? You, yeah. you didn't go to Ohio State. You didn't go to SC. You stayed on the West Coast. <laughs> West Side. And then fate brought you back to the East Coast with uh-huh. the Giants. You know, what did that mean for you, for the Giants to draft you? And what did that mean to bring, like, that Cali swag, Hell you yeah, know, that, West, to, Coast that West Coast swag to the East Coast? So it's funny because the West Coast swag was getting me trouble on the field with my uh, my first D.C., because I wasn't getting line fast. I was too casual. <laughs> you feel me? Too nonchalant. Exactly. And that nonchalant wasn't wasn't allowing me to diagnose what the offense was presenting to me. Right. You feel me? So one big principle that I'll be be talking about is, Nate, just get a line. Yeah. Get a line once you get the car and once they break the huddle. Get a line. And from there, everything will take care of itself. But going back from being from the West Coast and dropped to the East Coast, it wasn't a big difference in the aspect of media and those things. The biggest difference was is being away from home. Uh, the weather, and I like the East Coast and aspect of it's a lot of exclusivity out there. Mm-hmm. And those who know knows. And being in LA, I feel like you way more accessible than you are in the East Coast. Yeah, know? for sure. You feel me? And the East Coast, you got that blue collar. Like I don't care who you is, I'm gonna get to it. You feel me? Hard yeah, working. you there now. I'm going to take your spot. I'm going to get to where you at. And I might help you out, too, to get there. Yeah. But the West Coast is like, man, you at where you at? Bet. I'm going to try to take that and take everything your family got. Mm -hmm. You feel me? It's just a state of mind that the West Coast has been embedded to have. But I feel like as we constantly growing as a culture, it's something that we got to let go of. For sure. You feel me? Like, it's... All of those who are billionaires, bro, they link up collectively, bro. We need to yeah. uplift each other. You feel me? We got to uplift each other. We like, just talking the about people that. at the top always collaborate. You but feel me? Everyone, always collaborate. People it's don't all realize it. Yep. Yeah, they ain't you get there by me? themselves. Come on. So it's like, in a day, I may not have the... If you want to take ownership of your health, try AG1 and get a free one-year supply of vitamin D along with five free AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Statement, big statement that you got, but by me going half in on something... You're going to have more money to go do something else that you may desire. But also, this project going to hit because I know for a fact it's a proven model. Right. Mm-hmm. But if you got to go in full effect, it stops you to lean upon that proven model because it's like, damn, I put all this in. It got to work. Right. You feel me? So that stopped a lot of people from making moves because it's like, mm, this got to work. Yes, sir. You feel me? So, but you have to operate it like, all right, bet. And if it don't work, we're going to be straight. You feel me? Because it's a partnership. But nine times of ten is gonna work and gonna get the residuals to it because it's a proven model. You feel me? Collective, and man. You better together. Better together, bro. Better yeah. together. Somebody said you go fast alone, but you go further together. Now always, I always stick with me. That's a yeah. fact. And that's always stick with me. I feel like that's something that we leaned upon within our locker room because the coaching change happened, and it was pretty much the same dudes in that locker room, and we just came together, bro. We yeah. came together. We bought into what Dave's had going on. He was somebody who was allocating this time to give us the best things that we needed to be a valuable organization and it, it was able to be showcased because we just came together no matter what was going on outside we just came there to keep on being close and at it keep on growing each other no matter what the competition is no matter what the operation is no matter what they want to do from the from the top down i'm gonna support you bro because we're all here for the same goal bro go go get that labardi bro take Where? care of our family you feel yeah, me sir. no that's real and uh if we able to bring that into the African-American culture, just us wanting to be together, uplifting each other. Like, I make it a a thing of mine of when I walk past an African-American male or female, I'm making sure I'm, I'm, I'm showing some love to you. Like, what's mm-hmm. up? How you doing? Oh, I feel yeah. like we got to the point where we see another African-American, we keep our head down. We, yeah, yeah, man, yeah, yeah. Like, nah, bro. Like, we need to uplift each other, exactly. bro. Exactly. We, we, we kings and queens. Like, it's time for us to really tap into that, that lost spirit. For real. No, he's right. talking about he's that. Just literally <laughs> talking about that. <laughs> Last night and this morning, bro. Yep. Yeah, that's real, bro. That's real. 